Have you ever wondered about the rich history behind the vibrant city of Valencia, Spain? An intriguing city, layered with centuries of history, Valencia lies on Spain's southeastern coast, where the Taria River meets the Mediterranean Sea. As Spain's third largest city, it's a bustling hub of culture, art, and architecture, each element carrying a story from its storied past. Today, we delve into the fascinating history of this Mediterranean gem. Ah, uh, Valencia's story begins in the ancient times, long before the modern city we know today. Our journey takes us back to 138 years before Christ, when the Romans laid the foundation of what would become Valencia. The city, originally named Valentia, meaning bravery or strength in Latin, was a testament to the resilience and determination of its founders. The Romans, renowned for their architectural prowess, left an indelible mark on the city. The grandeur of the Roman circus, a colossal structure for chariot racing, was a spectacle to behold, rivaling even the mighty Colosseum in Rome. The city's layout too was quintessentially Roman, with a grid pattern that is still discernible in the old town's labyrinthine streets. But it wasn't just about bricks and mortar. The Romans introduced a system of laws and governance that shaped the city's societal fabric. They brought with them their language, Latin, which would evolve over centuries into the Valencian dialect of today's Catalan. And let's not forget the Romans' love for festivities. The seeds of Valencia's vibrant festival culture were sown during these times with celebrations honoring various Roman deities. These festivities, filled with music, dance and food, were the precursors to the city's modern-day Phallus Festival, a riot of color and creativity that sets Valencia alight every March. The Romans also recognized Valencia's agricultural potential, harnessing the fertile Turia River Valley for farming. This laid the groundwork for Valencia's future as the Orchard of Spain, a moniker the city proudly bears even today. But the Roman era was just the beginning of Valencia's rich history, a history marked by a blend of cultures and influences. The Romans, with their architectural marvels, legal systems, and cultural practices, laid the groundwork for a city that would continue to evolve, adapt, and thrive, echoing the bravery and strength embodied in its name, Valentia. Get ready to delve deeper into Valencia's captivating past in the next chapter of our journey. Fast forward a few centuries, and Valencia found itself at the heart of a new cultural wave. In the 8th century, the Moors, hailing from North Africa, swept across the Iberian Peninsula. Their arrival marked the beginning of a 700-year reign that would fundamentally transform Valencia. The Moors brought with them not just a new religion, Islam, but also innovative agricultural techniques, a profound appreciation for the arts, and a distinct architectural style. At the time, Valencia was a region with good potential for agriculture, but it was the Moors who fully tapped into that potential. They introduced advanced irrigation systems, drawing on their knowledge from their North African homelands. These systems, some of which are still in use today, allowed the Valencian soil to yield its rich bounty. Oranges, rice, sugarcane, and other crops flourished under Moorish care, shaping the culinary landscape of Valencia that we relish today. But the Moorish influence extended beyond the fields, it also left its mark on the cityscape. Take a stroll around Valencia, and you'll see the Moorish legacy etched into the city's very skeleton. The Moors had a knack for creating spaces that were not just functional, but also visually stunning. They crafted intricate designs, blending geometric patterns with organic motifs, a style known as mudejar. This unique aesthetic is evident in many of Valencia's historical buildings, testament to the city's multicultural past. The Moorish era was a period of relative peace and prosperity for Valencia. It was a time when the city truly began to flourish, culturally and economically. This period left a lasting imprint on Valencia's identity, making it the vibrant, multifaceted city we know today. Indeed, the Moors shaped Valencia in countless ways. They nurtured its lands, adorned its buildings, and enriched its culture. Their influence can still be felt, seen, and even tasted centuries later. The Moors left an indelible mark on Valencia, but change was once again on the horizon. In the 13th century, a pivotal moment in Valencia's history occurred, the Christian Reconquest. This was a period marked by significant change as the city transitioned from Moorish rule to Christian dominance under the leadership of King James I of Aragon. King James I, often referred to as James the Conqueror, played a key role in Valencia's transformation. His reign marked the beginning of a new era, one that saw the city evolve in terms of culture, 
architecture, and identity. This was the period of the Christian Reconquest, a time of change and growth that would shape Valencia for centuries to come. Under King James I, Valencia was not merely a city to be conquered, it was a city to be nurtured and developed. The king's policies reflected this vision. He encouraged the construction of churches, monasteries, and other Christian structures, replacing many of the existing Moorish buildings. This architectural shift was a clear sign of the changing times, a visible testament to the city's new Christian identity. But the changes weren't only architectural. The Christian reconquest also brought about a cultural shift. The city saw an influx of Christian settlers from other parts of the Iberian Peninsula. They brought with them their customs, traditions, and language, which gradually blended with the existing Moorish culture. This fusion of cultures gave birth to a unique Valencian identity, a blend of Moorish and Christian elements that is still evident in the city's culture today. Yet, despite the changes, the Reconquest was not an era of complete erasure. The Christian rulers recognized the value of Moorish contributions and allowed the preservation of certain aspects of Moorish culture. This included the irrigation systems, which were vital for the city's agriculture and are still in use today. The Christian Reconquest ushered in a new era for Valencia, one that saw it flourish and grow. This period in history was a turning point, a time when Valencia began to take shape as the vibrant, culturally rich city we know today. From its ancient roots to the modern metropolis it is today, Valencia has continually evolved. In the heart of Spain's eastern coast, Valencia flourishes as a bustling city, rich in culture and history, yet pulsating with modern energy. As the third largest city in Spain, Valencia has grown into a vibrant economic hub, made evident by its thriving industries and innovative businesses. A testament to its economic vitality is the City of Arts and Sciences, an architectural masterpiece that houses a planetarium, an opera house, and a science museum, embodying Valencia's commitment to progress and innovation. The city's cultural richness is as diverse as its history. Valencia is a trove of artistic treasures, from the cutting-edge street art that adorns its alleyways to the grandeur of its museums. The IVAM, Institute Valenciano de Arte Moderno, is a beacon of contemporary art, housing an impressive collection of 20th and 21st century art, while the Museo de Bellas Artes boasts a stunning array of classical works. Valencia's culinary scene is another manifestation of its modernity, with a gastronomic revolution taking place in its kitchens. The city is the proud birthplace of paella, a dish that has captured the world's palate. Yet the city's culinary talents extend beyond this iconic dish, from avant-garde Michelin-starred restaurants to traditional tapas bars, Valencia offers a gastronomic journey that is both rooted in tradition and forward-thinking in innovation. The city's modernity extends to its commitment to sustainability. Valencia is home to the largest urban park in Spain, the Taria Gardens, a green lung that breathes life into the city. This park, created from the dried-up riverbed of the Taria River, is an example of how Valencia has transformed potential disaster into an opportunity for growth and rejuvenation. Today, Valencia is a city that thrives on diversity, innovation, and sustainability. It is a city that celebrates its rich history while embracing the opportunities of the present and the promises of the future. Today, Valencia stands as a testament to its rich and diverse history, a city that has embraced its past while looking forward to the future. So, what have we learned about Valencia? From the earliest whispers of its existence, Valencia has been a city of change. It has developed from its ancient roots, when it was a mere settlement in the hands of the Romans, to a city that is now teeming with life and culture. Its history is a rich tapestry, woven with threads from different eras, each one leaving its distinct mark. The Moorish influence brought not just architectural brilliance, but also advancements in irrigation and agriculture that still resonate today. The city's landscape was forever changed by their intricate designs and innovative systems. Then came the Christian Reconquest, a period of transformation and resurgence. Valencia emerged as a beacon of Christian faith, its skyline adorned with magnificent cathedrals and churches, a testament to the city's unyielding spirit. In the modern era, Valencia has embraced change and innovation while preserving its historical essence. It has become a hub of arts and sciences, a city that is as much about the future as it is about the past. But Valencia is more than just a city. It's a story, a narrative that unfolds with every step you take through its narrow streets and expansive plazas. It's a melody, 
a rhythm that echoes within the walls of its ancient buildings and resonates in the hearts of its people. Valencia, a city of history, culture, and beauty, invites you to explore its streets and discover its story for yourself. Until next time, keep exploring the world and its wonders.